Have you ever wondered what would happen if we put an electric wire with 220 volts of electricity into the sea? Would all the fish die? Would there be an explosion of some kind? Or maybe nothing would happen at all? Well, today we're going to answer these questions and explore the fascinating world of electricity and marine ecosystems. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the first to see our latest videos. Electricity is one of the most powerful forces on our planet, and it's everywhere around us, even in the sea. But what happens when we introduce a high-voltage electric wire into the ocean? To find out, we conducted an experiment. We started by attaching an electric wire to a battery with 220 volts of electricity. Then, we lowered the wire into the sea and watched what happened. At first, nothing seemed to happen, but as we kept the wire in the water, we noticed some interesting effects. The first thing we noticed was that the water around the wire started to bubble and fizz. This is because electricity is causing a chemical reaction with the salt and minerals in the water, creating hydrogen gas and other byproducts. But what about the fish? Well, we're happy to report that no fish were harmed during our experiment. In fact, most fish seemed to stay away from the wire altogether, sensing the electric field around it. However, this doesn't mean that all marine life is safe from electric wires. Some species of fish, such as electric eels and electric rays, use electricity to stun their prey. And in some cases, man-made electric fields can interfere with these natural electrical signals, causing harm to these animals. So, what can we learn from this experiment? First, it's clear that electricity can have a profound impact on marine ecosystems, creating chemical reactions and affecting the behavior of aquatic creatures. However, it's also important to remember that not all fish are susceptible to these effects, and that we need to be mindful of the ways we interact with the sea. In conclusion, the next time you're near the ocean, take a moment to appreciate the incredible power of electricity and the complex web of life that exists within it. And remember, when it comes to electricity and marine ecosystems, there's still so much we have yet to discover. That's it, we've reached the end of the video. If you made it this far, you're one of the best people out there. Before you go, make sure to give us a like to let us know you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions that pop into your head in the middle of the night, feel free to leave them in the comments below so we can answer them for you. 